So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th MongoDB tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to make use of the increment and the decrement modifier to pretty much update a value which is an integer or a float or you know something which is updatable right so let me first of all real quick create uh, a new collection let's just say this is uh, um, I don't know Google Analytics right dot insert then I'm gonna insert an object and what this object would be is something like uh, website it's kinda like analytics built on top of MongoDB right so that would be pretty cool actually if that happens but by the way I guess Google is right now making use of big data or something as their solutions for storing data well anyways so website is code dam then I want to say that hits as zero right so let's start from the bottom and uh, here we are let's just build this you can see that it inserted one record uh, let me just clear this out and say db dot google analytics dot find dot pretty right so it shows me hits as zero and make sure this is not enclosed in quotes because that would be a string then right so now what I want to do is I want to update uh, my hits counter whenever somebody visits my site well the visiting part is handled by the back end whatever you are using node or PHP or whatever then what you want to do is you want to call MongoDB or kind of make a call to the, your database to update that well obviously you want to update it by one only but uh, when you're creating some games like uh, you know whatever you want to update the score or something by 50 so you can do that as well so how you do that is that you write db dot what was the name actually db dot uh, google analytics dot update again that same thing but we are just gonna make use of the modifier I'm gonna say that this is um, website to be codedam.com and obviously you would like to match the field the criteria from website instead of hits because you don't know hits actually you can't do that even so websites is hits and uh, then what you want to do is actually you want to say that uh, increment now this INC what this means is that you have to increment and what you have to increment is actually your field right there so for the R case it's hits right so hits and then the value to increment right so if I write one here then it would increment hits by one if I change it to set what would happen is that after every hit after every call this code would just set hits to one right so that's not very useful what we want to do instead is write inc which stands for increment so now if I run this piece of code you can see that it and matched one and if I run this again and again and again and again and again and again and again well that's enough so now if I look here you can see that our hits has changed to eight right so if you just pause the video and go back and count how many times I just did that and again and again you would find that I did it eight times right so that's pretty cool right now what I can do instead is uh, I can decrement it as well and for that that's pretty you know common I can just pass in minus one instead of one so if I do it again and 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 again. so once you are done with this and you just run that you can see that our hits has changed to negative three and that is because I ran it 11 times now right so 
now what happens with this is that uh, instead of uh, like if you make use of set then you are querying the database once and then database returns to the code then you are writing some code to increment then you are saying the database to set the new value to this one right so it's a two-way trip kind of you first you're first inquiring the database and then you are sending some sort of command to database to just update the value but with increment what happens is that you just send this code you just inform mongo to update this and mongo on the place on the place of that you know that document it just simply updates that thing so that is how pretty much you can increment and decrement using this ink modifier and uh, yeah so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one